Welcome back to Agulent Anywhere. For our warm up today, we're going to be doing 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest for three different movements. We'll be doing burpees, reverse lunges, and jump ropes. Starting off, we'll do 40 seconds of as many burpees as we can get in, kind of at a warm up pace with a 20 second rest. Then we'll do uh, 40 seconds of a reverse lunge, and then we'll do 20 seconds of rest, and then 40 seconds of jump rope. Burpee, just remember, chest to ground, jump and clap overhead. 40 seconds there, 20 seconds rest, we'll go into that 40 seconds of reverse lunges, we'll rest for 20 seconds, and we'll finish up with 40 seconds of getting as many jump ropes or hops for that 40 seconds, and we'll do that for three cycles. For our strength today, we're going to be doing 21, 15, and 9 of a Bulgarian split squat and a goblet squat. We'll do 21 on each leg, 15 on each leg, and then nine on each leg as well. We'll do a one minute rest between each round. So Bulgarian split squat, I've got my back foot elevated. On this, I wanna make sure that this front foot, I'm able to go basically straight down, keeping a nice uh, shin angle here, so it's not so far forward. Focusing on going straight down. Notice that I've got that pillow on a chair or something to kind of protect my ankle and foot there. I'll do 21 on each leg. From here, I'll go into that 21 goblet squat. Just that front loaded squat there. And I'll rest one minute, then I'll do 15 of everything, rest a minute, and then nine of everything. For our workout today, we're gonna be doing five rounds for time of nine burpees, 12 sit-ups, and 15 squat jumps. Starting off with the burpee, we're going chest to ground and then jumping and clapping overhead for nine reps. From there, we'll do an ab mat sit up. So we will have a pillow or a towel to kind of have that ab mat style, feet in that ab mat position, shoulder blades all the way down, hands touching behind my head. As I come up, hands touching in front of my feet for 12 reps. From there, 15 squat jumps, going to that jump each time. Five rounds, four times. For our core today, we're gonna to be doing three rounds where we do a max hollow body hold and a max plank. We'll rest two minutes between each round. So max time on a hollow body hold. It's really important that we kind of decide how we're gonna do this each time, whether it's hands to the side, hands to the back, and the kind of elevation that our feet need to be to maintain a good hip to rib engagement. If I find myself arching my lower back or getting those feet too low and just kind of starting to get off kilter, that's when I should probably go ahead and know that's time, that's the amount of time that I've gone to do a good quality hollow body hold. From there, I'll go right into my max time on a plank hold. The same is gonna be true for a plank hold, I'm really focusing on keeping that engagement of the core. If I start to sag or drop or droop like that, that would be the time or the moment where I decide to do it. That's as long as I can go on that. Remember that you're gonna do three rounds with only two minutes rest between each round. So keep it reasonable. Make sure that you're kind of still having fun with it and just kind of getting a good quality core session here. Three rounds, max hold for both the hollow body hold and the plank hold. For our range of motion today, we're going to be doing one minute of half saddle on each leg, seal, and supine twist for each side. Starting off with half saddle, I'm going to put this front foot out and kind of lay back in that saddle position. I'll do that for a minute on each side. From there, I'll go into seal. Seals where our hips are going to stay on the ground here. A minute there. And from there, that supine twist, just kind of bringing that leg over. I'm gonna kind of look to the other side for a whole minute on each side for that supine twist. Those three things, one minute a piece for each side. 